and they are gold compressor sets. It's a bit of a spur of the moment decision. Lampralogus Ocelotus Gold, six per bag. I think from memory they sold for $290 for three Frontosa. G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, we're gonna be looking at the top 10 things that I think that have happened in the fish room over the last year, 2021, as well as some of the failures in the fish room over the last year. So let's get into this week's video, the final video for the year. Okay guys, the bags are all packed. All the fish are in. We've got some long fin bristlenose here. Here are the Lamprologus ocellatus gold, six per bag. So here's the Neo Lamprologus brevis sunspot, six in the bag. Reserve of 40. I think from memory they sold for $290 for three Frontosa. So glad I told him about the auction because he didn't even actually know that it was coming up. So I was really happy for him, obviously, and it, was, it turned out to be a fantastic night. They are Neo Lamprologus similis. Now, some of you might be a little bit disappointed by that. I don't know if they are a pair, uh, but two went through the auction and I bid for them. And they are gold compressor sets. So it's a bit of a spur of the moment decision. Uh, as you know, I've got black calvus and white calvus already, but I decided to just get some gold comps just to see how we go. They have spawned, big surprise. Uh, this is their eighth spawn. Uh, there are actually fry now that have exited the parent shell. You can see there's two shells in the middle of the aquarium there. So there are fry, as I said, in the aquarium now. They've exited the shell. Um, I have been feeding this tank over the last two to three days and getting another tank prepared for this spawn. And here's the finished product, guys. The stand. I'm pretty much standing next to it just so you can get a sense of the scale, the size of this thing. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. Now, because these uh, stands or these shells really are going to be holding five foot aquariums. We've double braced the pine going down the length of the stand. Both of those are sitting on pine. All the way down, the shelves are resting on pine as well as being screwed in with massive screws as you saw in the video. I really can't believe it, guys. We've reached a 2,000 subscriber milestone. I wanna thank each and every one of you for your support over the last two years. It really does mean a lot to me and you guys continue to motivate me to produce content for you. So once again, thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support. The reason there is only two in this tank is because these guys are spawned. <laughs> I really can't believe that I got a pair out of the four that I bought for adults and that they've spawned already. Yeah, I just, I'm just astounded. I, I, I thought I was lucky enough to be able to purchase four of these uh, beautiful Neo Lamprologus Leilupi and, and I didn't think my chances were good to get a pair out from four. I purchased what I thought were two males and two females and in the video I even said I think I'd be very very lucky to get a pair. Uh, I didn't think I'd be this lucky to get a pair out of them three weeks in. And this is my other Neo Lamprologus Leilupi breeding pair. These guys haven't gotten along anywhere as near as much as my initial original breeding pair. However, they are starting to get the knack of um, spawning and looking after their fry. So when I've spawned these guys in the past, and I believe this is probably about the fifth or sixth time, uh, the male unfortunately has eaten the fry. The female has tried to defend her fry from the male, and in doing so, he's belted her up pretty badly in the past with torn fins and whatnot. However, on this occasion, he hasn't eaten the fry. Now in the past, when they've spawned and the male's eaten the fry, I've said to you guys, I don't intend to take him away from the female and the fry. I want him to learn how to be a good dad and look after his brood. And that, I think, has been achieved with this successful spawn because this is the longest he has gone without eating the fry. I've mentioned a few times that I want to sell my black calvus. I have two black calvus in a tank. I just thought, Instead of selling them, I will try and buy some more, mix the bloodlines potentially, and hopefully with what I've purchased here, we'll have the opposite sex, because I believe the two that I have at the moment are the same sex, they're exactly the same size as each other. Now Lamprologus tetracephalus tank, I've persisted with them for pretty much a year and a half now, and yeah, I'm pretty much, I think, up to the 10th spawn with them, and still haven't been able to successfully raise their fry. I have considered selling these guys, but I do love them, they, I, and, and because they're such a challenge, I do want to succeed in breeding them. So, I've persisted for this long, and I, and I keep thinking, if I've persisted for this long, I should just stick to it and 
keep trying. A few hundred drawings in this entire system. Completed the whole video, uploaded it to YouTube, it was ready to go. In that video, I was basically telling you guys that I was abandoning the whole system and not gonna run with it. Now on the day that I tested the system for the very first time, I learned a couple of things. Leaks started to develop. There were slow leaks, a couple drips per minute, uh, but from multiple drawings across the system, which was pretty disappointing at the time. After that, I then decided to drain the tanks and then break the siphons. Now the reason why I decided to break the siphons was because the tanks would just continue to drip if I didn't break the siphons. Uh, they would continue to drain to the halfway point below where the drain lines are in the tanks. And if I was to leave them for 24 to 48 hours, obviously even with just a couple drips per minute from a couple joins, you'll eventually flood your fish room. And if you've got equipment in those aquariums, such as filters and heaters, they're gonna run dry and get damaged. So I didn't wanna do any of that. So I just decided to continue with the test, even though water was starting to drip on the floor and just drain it all out into the garden until I broke all the siphons. So I've just noticed this guys. Oh, I'm really surprised. And um, very shocked. Uh, I'm not sure what caused the female to die. Uh, they've been spawning for me really well. Sorry about this one, guys. I just yeah, didn't expect this. I was all happy. Had some. Had the next video. Last shot, the last bit of footage for the video that I was going to release this week. But absolutely in no mood to to work on that video now. So guys, I was just walking past the tank. I haven't been in the fishery much today. Just come in here to feed them. And uh, I'm walking past. And <laughs> look at this shell. Holy moly. Uh, I guess the two fish are female. That shouldn't be my first concern. My first concern is, what am I gonna do with the fry? Like, look how aggressive she is with me. Uh, I don't know where to put them. All the tanks at the top row are full. What I might have to do is move the Kamanga Golds out and quickly clean that tank. And maybe I'll put mum in with the, with the fry. Or <clears throat> I move all the calvus out and let her look after her fry. That might be an easier thing to do. I just don't know which fish she spawned with. I have no idea. But definitely, she has spawned with one of the new guys that are in this aquarium. Can't believe it. Yeah, I don't want to go near her and freak her out, but. Yeah, unbelievable. Okay, I've got to decide what I'm going to do. <laughs> Now before we wrap up the final video of the year, I just wanted to say a big thank you to all my subscribers who have followed me on my crazy fish room journey over the last few years. I really do hope you enjoy these videos and find them entertaining, but most of all I hope you find them useful. Whether you've got an entire fish room or just one aquarium, I really hope you enjoy these videos and that's what motivates me to continue to produce this content for you. And it's the end of the year, I can't believe how quick 2021 has gone by, so I want to wish all my subscribers a happy new year. I'm looking forward to producing weekly content for you guys in 2022. Of course, there are going to be videos coming out every Tuesday morning, 7am Sydney time. You guys pretty much know the drill by now. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed these videos this year. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment and consider subscribing to the channel. I really would appreciate it. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this video up now. Thanks heaps for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.